Today on the program, work both on the stage and backstage, organization and running events, or the backside of the holiday on behalf of one of the most famous country's showmen. There is a job among many professionals and specializations whose representative is called man of holiday. These people are able to create a special atmosphere of a holiday, no matter whether it is a small family event or a big festival broadcasting to the entire country. The showman's work in Kazakhstan, a multinational and multilingual country, or a mix of holidays of world religions, a variety of ethnic groups, cultures and traditions, is particularly difficult. The hero of our today's program is truly one of the best professionals of event stage. Andrei Malyshev has run the most bright and memorable country events for more than 10 years. It would seem that such a well-known person has nothing to tell about himself. But today we will talk about some of the lesser-known facets of his life and professional success. For example, not all of us know that the famous showman had to overcome himself in fear of audience. I was a very shy boy. When I read a rhyme at school or kindergarten, I remember how my blood ran to my head so that I couldn't utter a word and my heart started to beat faster. Actually, I was not a stage man at all. But when I was a teen, I did like one girl who studied in theater school, so I decided to study there too. I had my performances there, I discovered my abilities there. It is interesting to note that my fear of stage left me at the theatrical college. I realized that I needed it. Seniors used to teach us how to overcome the fear. You just go backstage, stamp and say, I can, I will, and go to hell, all of you. And when you go to stage, it really works. You can do it. Another little known to the general public fact of Andrei Malyshev's life is that he is a member of the Writers Union of Kazakhstan, the author of many popular songs of Kazakh artists. I've written since my childhood. I started in a music band. I'm from Taraz, where I was sent to one dance studio where guys danced Michael Jackson's dances. So in that way, we created a band called 101. Nowadays, my colleagues have reached great results. This band is still popular and well-known. Ivan Brosov came out from that band. He reached the final. I write lyrics for them, too. They have a song, Absence, written by me and the music by Ivan Brosov. You're part of my life. I have to live with absence, many days alive. My text. Another little known fact is the experience of Andrei Malyshev in the cinema where he has played some key roles. However long filming seriously disturbed his main job. As a result, in a brief internal struggle, showman Malyshev won actor Malyshev. But unable to part with the shooting at all, he found a compromise in television. My first project where I'd participate was Our Street Habitants. All different nations living in Kazakhstan as we know, Kazakhstan is one of the most multinational countries on the planet and speak Kazakh. I, as a representative of Russian people, spoke Kazakh too. Nadezhda Lushnikova played an old woman who was my mother according to the script and she spoke fluent Kazakh. I had learned by heart my first long text in Kazakh there. I still keep them in my mind. That project let me realize that I can speak a little Kazakh on my events and it is a very big advantage for me. There were a lot of kinds of TV projects from cooking shows to music television contests. But as Andre says, there are people born for the cinema, theater or television. But he is created for the events, so at some stages the showman decided not to divide himself among businesses. I am for 12 years in this business. I realized that if you mix cinema, television, running events, you will not reach what you want. 
That's why I gave up on any other business, because when you play in films, you know how much time it takes to spend the time there day and night, and it is impossible to combine it all. That's why I had to juggle priorities. I got that my career of a showman, moderator and so-called Sprechteilmeister is more important. No event is the same. Besides private orders like presentations or staff parties, there are many other types. I try to get that there is no one sample for running all events. I always try to run all scale events from wedding parties to bigger ones. Like 80th anniversary or after parties. That's why I try to be many-sided and have different approaches to a variety of events. There are hundreds of events of various kinds and scale ranging from weddings and anniversaries, ending the official celebrations at the state level in the list of Andre, and he finds an individual approach to every single event. At nights he sits on the script and spends many hours of meetings to agree all the details. Как Майк Тайсон великий говорит, что то, что на ринге, это 10 процентов, остальные 90 это то, что as great Mike Tyson says, only 10% is in the ring, the other 90% is your training. The same with us, 10% is on the stage and 90% is preparation. Creation of something new, there are kid events and adult ones. So you must change yourself everywhere in order to feel comfortable. People must believe you. You can't make jokes at some official events, but at after parties you just can't stand without jokes. There are events with world celebrities when Russian, European stars and also Hollywood representatives come. If we talk about state-level events, I participated in the opening ceremony of Sport Complex Kazakhstan in Astana as well as the election of the President of Kazakhstan. My small knowledge of Kazakh helped me a lot to run those events. His multilingual skills is one of the trump cards of the showman. He runs events in three languages, Russian, Kazakh and English, but he is able to maintain a conversation, say hello or make jokes in many other languages. Some love fishing, some love hunting, but I do love to collect languages. Sometimes I am just too excited when I am, for example, in Italy. I just go to the nearest shop, buy a phrase book and just learn them by heart. Buonasera, buongiorno, signora and others. I'm a fan of the Kazakh language. I always learnt it. I even had teachers who were our copywriters from TV. They wrote us text. I learnt them by heart and sometimes I didn't understand the whole text but I did love when the Kazakh audience is surprised when I, as a Russian speaker, start to speak Kazakh. 90% of my work is Kazakh events. Kazakh people are more responsible than any other nation on the planet for weddings. From ancient times they have two big weddings. These are Kiz Uzatu and Ulu Toy. Accordingly, we have double work. Theoretically, 16 million Kazakhs become 32 million. A showman's work is a constant barrage of emotions, ability to create a mood, no matter what the circumstances he has, personal or environmental, the ability to lighten the audience and lead it. To become a popular leader, you have to have a good grasp of this quality. When I am in the hall, no matter how many people there are, five or five thousand, when I just turn on the microphone and have contact with the audience, I always believe in what I am doing. Probably that's why I am always fortunate. Sometimes you have a different condition or mood or physical condition, but you must forget about it on the stage. So when you push the on button, when you hear fanfare, you just must not worry about backstage life anymore. The most important now is your audience. 
You know, my job makes me always be focused, despite your high temperature or broken toe. You just go to the stage and work. Once I broke my toe on my vacation, so I bought 46 size shoes and wore them, as well as I made an injection to make the pain ease, and it worked. Another important quality for mastering events is the ability to feel the audience, the people's mood, sense of tact, and ability to smooth out the sharp points. Eight years ago, I was sure that I knew the ropes of all wedding parties. And it is not important to meet with clients the day before. But now I realize there are no same people and no same events as well. They are totally different. Anytime you may come across some force majeure, and you must know in advance how to fix that force majeure. What is a wedding? A man has it only one time in his life, so all his emotions run high. So do his relatives, and you must feel it. You must make their emotions high, not artificially, but with all of your heart. Only then you can receive a good response from the audience. Every day brings challenges to Andrei Malyshev. There is no such thing as stability in his work. Every year new fashion changes appear in event business, like new trends and new opportunities in the organization of events, both technical and creative. You must keep up to the times and remain creative. What is the difference between showman and toaster? Probably in creativity approach to different events, sharp separation between this or those kind of events. The most exciting is there is no sample, everything depends on season. Actually, we have very interesting statistics. There is one expression, word of mouth. In Kazakh it is Uzin, Kulak, Kazakh Shah, Aitadi. Let's take May, nobody gets married in May. All mind their business work goes well in June, before Oraza, and then again stops. During Oraza time we have events of other cultures, like Koreans, etc., or presentations, August is also not full with events. September is always events. October and November don't have many holidays. December is corporate parties before New Year. January again is nothing like February, but in March, before now is, there are many weddings. That's why we have the statistics and a flexible schedule. Everybody who is self-made in his business has his own recipe for success. And during the lifetime of our program, we have heard a huge number of them. Andrei Malyshev sees success in the continuous improvement of work. Success is hard work, daily and nightly work, when a person believes in what he is doing and keeps doing it. My example to follow is Sagnai Abdulin. Just look, he is an old man already, but he is my trainer. I've learned his quality of work many times. He still gives me proper advices. He is old, but still he feels himself comfortable on the stage. He is in demand. And that is cool. People don't pay for nothing. They pay for a product. It goes from ancient times. Life keeps its schedule. My main proof of success is my engagement. When I see the number of events, when people call me, I feel myself needed. To date, I am satisfied with the results. So I believe everything is okay. Above all, you must keep growing, search something new, introduce new ideas and events. If you do it, you will be successful.